This is already the third video in a series of five in which you will learn how to make this animated and interactive infographic with Adobe Animate and Adobe Illustrator CC. In the previous videos we first imported an Adobe Illustrator file into Adobe Animate. In the second video we've animated this cloud. Now we'll animate the windmill and the two round arrows. The process of doing this is almost the same as our last animation, but you have to add one more thing. First of all, we have to convert the windmill blades to a symbol. So first select the blades, right click and then convert to symbol. I'll name the symbol windmill and then click OK. Now we've got a symbol, we can start rotating it. Just like our last animation, we want to make a continuing loop. So we've got to go to the cloud symbol's own timeline. To do this, double click the blades first. You now see the symbol's own timeline. To make the blades rotate, we've got to create a motion tween. Right click the blades and then create motion tween. Animate now asks you to convert the blades to a symbol again. Just click OK to let Animate do this for you. The timeline has now been changed because Animate has added a motion tween of one second to your timeline. We only need to change one option in the properties panel to make a rotation. Just go to the rotation section and enter 1 in the rotate field. Animate has now added the rotation. Press enter to view it. I think the rotation is way too fast now, so I'll make the motion tween a bit longer by dragging it to 3 seconds. When you press enter to view it again, you'll see it now takes 3 seconds to rotate the blades one time. Click on scene 1 to go back to the main timeline. You can now test this animation in the browser by going to Control, Test. You can also rotate the round arrows in the same way. When you're done, the animation looks like this. So, now that you know how to rotate items, we can animate items along a motion path in the next video.